hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai i know guys it has been a long time but i am finally back sorry guys i just want to properly apologize before we actually get into the video it has been approximately 30 days since i was back on the channel uploading videos and this is because i was actually doing contract work out of the country as well as volunteering to create a large monument in new jersey robinsville i can show you a picture right now this was something that i was a part of as well as doing business work on the side now i know guys i never really got the chance to upload but i'm finally back and i'm gonna be back to my daily schedule where i upload the best of the best ai content for you guys so this is just an apology video as well as a breakdown as to why i was actually gone for this one month but just so you know i'll be back to catching up with my daily uploads gonna be making sure that you guys get the best content and i'll also be posting regularly back on the twitter page which i actually done and this is something that we're gonna be covering throughout today's video as we take a look as to what bloop is so with that thought let's just get right back into the video i'm just super happy to be back and i just want to say thank you guys so much for getting this channel up to 24k while i was gone we were actually at 20k before this but it just means a lot to me for all the support and all the love that you guys have been giving me just know that i'm going to be making sure that i give you guys the best content and pushing the use of artificial intelligence for the best use case for you guys on this channel so with that thought let's get right into this video and let's get to showcasing what bloop is truly about Over the last few weeks, we have been seeing a big push towards AI tools that focus on DevOps, software development such as Copilot, and fulfilling Copilot assistance within your own IDE such as Rivet. Now it has been revolutionizing the way we create apps, deploying them as well as helping us to refine the code to deploy powerful apps and models. Now throughout today's video, I'll be bringing forth another powerful AI coding assistant that will change the way you utilize large language models to help you code and this is by introducing Bloop. Now this is an app that understands code bases with GPT-4. Many of the times previously we, that we have covered these types of applications lacked the ability to utilize and understand a full code base but with bloop you can actually do so with their functionalities as well as some of the features that we'll be taking a look at throughout today's video you're able to search to help you deploy and build different ranges of apps by utilizing the whole code base. Now, Bloop is basically a developer assistant that utilizes GPT-4 as well as other large language models to answer questions about your code base. Now, the agent searches both from your local as well as remote repositories with natural language, rejects, as well as filter queries. Now, some ways engineers use Bloop to improve their efficiency when they're working on large code bases is by summarizing how large files work as well as how multiple files work together. You're able to understand how to use open source libraries when documentations are lacking. You're able to identify the origin of errors and so much more. And this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video as I'll be showcasing how you can install Bloop, what you can do with Bloop, showcasing some of the features as well as the roadmap of this application. So with that thought, stay tuned throughout the video and let's get right into it. If you guys haven't already make sure you check out world of the ai on youtube if you guys haven't make sure you guys subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from now if you guys haven't followed the twitter page of world of ai definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord in which you can get exclusive features giveaways uh, we're actually giving out a subscription for a really, really useful AI tool really soon for a lot of members. So I highly recommend you check this out as you're also getting free value, a lot of news, a lot of AI tools that a lot of people don't know about and a lot of subscriptions. So definitely check this out if you guys haven't already. But with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. As we talked about at the start, we're going to be taking a look at what Bloop is. Now, as you see over here, it's something that ChatGPT can't answer questions about your code base, but Bloop can. 
It's basically an advanced developer assistant that harnesses the tools of ChatGPT's four model and it provides you a comprehensive support for software engineers as well as for different developers throughout the development process. Now at its core, it basically excels through answering like different types of questions about your code base that many of these other developer tools cannot do as well as how it utilizes AI to help it do so. It does this by leveraging different natural language understanding capabilities of large language models such as GPT-4 as well as many other models that are supported with it and it enables you to basically utilize these models to help you answer questions for your local as well as remote repositories with basically remarkable ease and precision now just take a look at bloops code search feature which is a valuable tool for a lot of developers and users as it's basically designed to streamline the process of navigating as well as comprehending new code bases it's basically leveraging the power of different large language models so that it can empower developers to independently explore and understand unfamiliar code without the need of external assistance now this ability helps you find one ways around new code bases unassistedly while utilizing bloops different types of features now it significant like significantly improves the discoverability of internal apis within the code base and this basically means that you as a developer or user can basically have the like opportunity to identify and utilize existing components as well as enhancing code reuse and what this can do is that it can reduce the likelihood of duplicating different types of code efforts now this is very very useful as it improves efficiency and it makes it so much more effective in understanding the whole code base while utilizing natural languages now another amazing feature is to answer the most challenging technical questions with bloop now this is a very valuable resource for a lot of developers and engineers especially when dealing with legacy code bases now legacy code bases are often very complex and poorly documented and can pose a really significant challenge particularly when time is of the essence now one thing that bloop is able to do as well as provide and the solution for this is basically helping you by having a rapid understanding of different complex tasks as well as questions you're able to have a deadline adherence which basically helps you get get the right solution in the best possible time you're able to have incident resolutions where it can focus on bug errors highlight what you can do to improve it and also giving you multiple different types of solutions for a single error now this is something that is very very useful and it's something that i'll showcase later on in the video where you can ask alongside the ai to help you find these solutions now probably one of the most remarkable features of loop is its code studio in which you're able to generate different types of code using existing code bases at as context now we've seen many different developer tools in which you're able to upload files but you're not able to give it any sort of contextual relevance for what the code should be based off of now we're able to see that you're not able to utilize larger code bases but with bloop you're able to do so and this is something that i'll showcase later on in the video it helps you contextualize code generation which allows you to select specific files from different code bases now this selection provides you the context for the ai to understand the project's structure as well as specific problems at hand now you're able to have customized prompts customized prompts sorry which can basically craft prompts to guide the code generation process so that you can basically gear it to have a certain type of output now you have ai powered code generation which is its main feature with studio code and which it utilizes different natural language large language models such as gpt4 gpt3.5 and so many others you have line level basic functionality which offers you the ability to work with different types of levels which focus on specific lines of code you also have templating in which it allows you to include different types of template features so that you're able to structure a consistent approach for the code generation now this is 
all what you can like this is just some of the features of what you can do with the studio code uh feature of bloop but this is something that we'll definitely take a look at so that you can get a better idea they also have a lot of other features such as code navigation single file explanation you have the local mode which focuses on privacy you have reject smack bin you have the open source feature in which you can utilize this for free as well as focusing on the ability to extend upon bloop you're able to speak your own language with it and so much more guys this is all of what you can do with the bloop and it's something that we'll showcase in the next step of the video as we download this now there's one thing that you want to keep in mind before you actually install bloop and this is by understanding the pricing structure now as we talked about the start this is an open source project in which you can install for free and utilize all the features but they also have a startup pricing feature in which you're able to have it cloud hosted utilize the natural language as well as the reject search you have precise code navigation and a lot more but in my opinion you can utilize the 30-day free trial and if you like it you can keep on utilizing it but in my opinion i highly recommend that you just start off with the individual free pricing structure now you're also able to have the enterprise feature which you can contact them but in this case i highly recommend you start off with the individual free structure and what you want to do is click on download once you have that uh, clicked on that button you can obviously install it for different processing systems such as mac os linux and as well as windows so in this case i'm going to be showcasing the windows installation i simply just click on that install the installer for it drag it onto my desktop once it has finished and once it has done that i'll drag it over here and once you have done that you can double click it minimize your screen welcome to the setup wizard you can obviously click next it's fairly easy install it to wherever you want it to be like wherever you want the folder for the blue installation to be uh you can click next install it and it'll take a couple of minutes but once this is done we'll move forward in opening the app and that's easy as that in terms of installing it you don't need to do any sort of coding or cloning of any sort you just simply need to install the installer install whatever packages are through this installer and once this is done you can click install open up bloop and you'll be able to utilize this application fairly easily now this will require you to basically allow access with your windows defender firewall you can easily just click allow access at your own discretion now once it has done that it's going to finalize the loading i'm just going to close the one because i opened up two of them but it'll start up by loading bloop and we'll move forward by showcasing the true capabilities of it once we have basically created an account once you have connected your github account and created your basic uh bloop account you just have to click got it on this uh, pop-up menu over here and you'll be able to start playing around with bloop over here now you can see over here you're able to add your own github repository add a public repository your local repository in which you can add different types of files from your local machine you have the studio project which basically utilizes generative ai with user defined context now basically these are some of the things that you can add as well as incorporate your code base for within loop and this is something that will help give context to the ai to work with to help you generate different types of things as well as working to help improve your basic uh, code base now here's just a basic explanation as to how you can upload your own code base in this case i uploaded a public repository with react agents it's basically a repository that is an experimental autonomous agent that leverages gpt4 to help generate and compose react components now what i'm doing is uploading this repository and I'm going to be creating a new studio in which I'm going to be utilizing the natural languages to help improve the code for the repository I gave it as well as working towards giving it history to improve it and focus on generating different types of agents while utilizing the context that I already gave it. Now the great thing is you can upload many different types of repositories over here and it'll be able to utilize and generate different types of components while utilizing all the context that it is already been given to it. So this is something that is really, really amazing as it can utilize different types of repositories to help you generate the context that you really want it 
to basically write as well as generate and this is something that i'll talk about later while later in the video as it is finished indexing and then we'll showcase how you can utilize this studio now guys if you want to utilize their documentation i highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of different types of tips as well as some of the cool things that you can do and not do to get started with Bloop. Here you can see over here they have a documentation that gives you a good thorough demonstration as to what you can do in terms of getting started, how you can sync your repositories, what you can do in terms of utilizing their features, how you can utilize their code studio feature and they also have a lot of videos on how you can do so. Now they also have a blog post in which they're uploading different types of different blogs that showcase the true features and capabilities of this application. We can see over here, we are able to understand your code base with GPT-4 and somatic code search. And this is by how you can utilize Bloop in a way it helps you understand your code base. And what they've done is that they combine three bleeding to edge technologies into the light desktop uh, client that we have installed. In this case, you're able to have a blazing fast code search as well as a rejects matching engine written in Rust. You're able to have a precise code navigation built on stack graphs and scope queries. You're also able to have an intelligent AI agent powered by GPT-4 as well as somatic code search. And this can help you as well as a lot of developers in writing different types of code. Now that we have fully installed and cloned this repository of React Agent, you can go into it, you can resync it also as well as remove it. But once you click on it, you're able to start working with the code. Now in this case, we have fully cloned the repository over here. And we can see on this right hand side that we have our AI natural language studio assistant. In this case, you're able to track all the conversations that you have as well as having the feature to answer speeds in a normal speed or a faster speed. But in this case, if you use the faster speed setting, it is less accurate. You're able to create different types of conversations by clicking on this button. You're able to focus on different GitHub branches. Uh, in this case, this is if you utilize the upgraded feature, but you don't really need to utilize this in my opinion. Uh, you're able to implement different types of prompts which there is a tutorial on their documentation and this is a feature that i talked about previously in which you're able to have it answer different types of questions in a different type of prompt but in which you can give it through bloop and this is something that they teach on their documentation so i highly recommend that you check this out but in this case of this video i'm just briefly going over how you can install this how you can utilize bloop to edit different sizes of code in this case you can go into the backend folders click on a file for example the json file which has all the packages if you don't like how it has been constructed over here you can tell bloop to rewrite the code over here so that it is more efficient or more effective in this case this repository is already solidified to become publishable so you don't really need to edit it but in this case if you have a repository that you want to build upon or edit further you can definitely upload this repository over here as well as other different repositories that you want to work with like basically develop the context that you want blue to work with and then you can further start to generate different types of content utilizing the studio project and in this case you can start generating different types of code by uploading the context that you give it. And this is the true capabilities of Loop. Now, one last thing that I wanna talk about is its quote, which resets every 24 hours. In this case, you're able to utilize 10 different quotes in which you can generate different types of code with. Now, in conclusion, guys, this is an amazing AI coding assistant that lets you leverage the whole code base. And this is something that many of the other uh, assistant AI tools do not actually provide as it's a work in progress, but it's something that Bloop was able to configure and release with its Bloop application. So I highly recommend that you check this out as well as their, their blog post as well as their documentation so you can get a better idea as to what you can do with Bloop. But that basically concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'm so happy to be back. 
and just basically know that i'm going to be making sure that you guys get the best content make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord follow world of ai on twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas